Welcome to Depeche Mode Jeopardy in the Depeche Mode Global Fan Group with guest host Jenna Rose Robbins. Our special guest contestant today from Spirits in the Forest, Daniel Casus. Joined by Monica Espinosa, David Etheridge, Angelina Mara Ojima, and Jay Tando. Thank you all for joining us. And now here's your host, Jenna Rose Robbins. Good evening, quarantiners. Welcome to Depeche Mode Jeopardy. Let's first meet our contestants. We have from Long Beach, California, we have karaoke host Jay Tando, also known as Fletch from the Depeche Mode tribute band Devotional. Then from Los Angeles, California, we have Angelina Mara Ojima, who's been a fan of the band since she was 12. Hey, everybody. From Kansas City, Missouri, not the great state of Kansas, comes Monica Espinoza, an environmental justice program specialist, specialist originally from New Mexico. All the way from Kobe, Japan, we have David Etheridge, a business skills trainer and day 306 of the Depeche Mode Takeover. And our special guest from Spirits in the Forest, Daniel Casus, a lawyer from Berlin, or as he likes to say, the real girl from Ipanema, gone to Greenland, who was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar and has got your leather boots on. <laughs> so we'll get to know our contestants a little better after round one, but we're gonna jump right in here. So Rob, let's go to the board. So just for everybody, we're gonna go through the different categories. We have let's get personal. These will be some questions about the band members themselves. B-sides, you'll see a song title. You have to name its B-side. Location, location, location which is pretty self-explanatory. Single art, and this is a reminder to contestants that you can buzz in as soon as you see the image. And next line, you'll see a line of a song and you have to sing the line that follows. Yes, sing it, okay? <laughs> so before the show, we tossed a five-sided coin to see who goes first and Monica won. So Monica, please start us off by choosing a category. Let's get personal for 200, please, Jenna. The name of Alan Wilder's most well-known music side project, whose first EP, One Plus Two, was released in 1986. David. What is Recoil? That is correct. David, you have the board. Please make a, uh, make a decision on the, which clue you'd like. Let's go B-sides for 500. A pain that I'm used to. Daniel. Um, what is newborn? That is correct. Daniel, you have the board. You get to choose. Let's go single rod for 200. David. What is a question of lust? Very good. Let's go, let's see, uh, let's get personal 500. The only classically trained musician to be a member of Depeche Mode. Monica. Al who is Alan Wilder? That is correct. You get to choose. Let's go, let's go with next line for 100, please. Domination's the name of the game in bed or in life. Monica. What is their both just the same? What, they, what is their both just the same? <laughs> yes, thank you. All right. OK. Let's go with B sides for 100, please. Shake the disease. David. What is flexible? Correct. Okay. Let's go single art for 400. David. What is in your room? Correct. Let's go uh, single art for 300. David. What is get the balance right? 
correct. Let's go B sides 300. Master and servant. Daniel. What is. Uh, <laughs> what is. Can you repeat that? D Daniel or what David? Da Daniel for Daniel. Okay. Believe me, I forgot. Okay. Next. He loses point. Yeah. David? What is set me free, remotivate me? Correct. Okay, David. Let's go, uh, let's get personal 300. John and Leonard are the two middle names of this member. Daniel? Uh, who is Andy Fletcher? Correct. Okay. Um, so let's go for a B side from 400. Walking in my shoes. David. What is my joy? That is correct. Uh, let's go, let's see. Single art, 500. Daniel. Uh, what is soup, my soul? Correct. Um, so let's go for... Uh, location, location, location for one. An estimated 65,000 fans were in attendance for the historic recording of 101 at this stadium. Monica. What is the Rose Bowl in Pasadena? Correct. Monica, you choose. All right, let's go location, location, location for 200, please. Much to Alan's chagrin, Martin reportedly sang somebody naked in the Meistersaal of this Berlin recording studio. Daniel. What is the Hansa von Studio? Correct. Just a reminder to players, do not buzz in until the last word is said. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, you choose. Um, location, location, location. For how much? 300. In 1990, a promotional video for Enjoy the Silence was shot by French TV on the top of this former landmark. Daniel. Uh, what is the World Trade Center? Correct. Daniel, you choose. Um, maybe about out. Let's go next line for 200. You know what I need when my heart bleeds. I, Daniel. I suffer from greed. I have to feed the mercy. Oh no, but I should have done it. Wait, wait, can you sing that again? We're a little garbled. Uh, I suffer from greed when my heart bleeds for the mercy in me. Uh, Rob? That was not correct. Okay. Uh, David. What is, uh, I suffer from greed, a longing to feed on the mercy in you. That is correct. Okay, David, you get to choose. Thank you. Uh, let's see, can I see the categories? Let's go to single art 100. David. What is dream on? Correct. Okay. Uh, let's go B sides 200. Dreaming of me. David. Uh, what is Ice Machine? That's correct. Okay, uh, let's go, let's get personal 100. 
After 30 years, this former member reunited with Martin to form a duo whose first studio album was 2012's Monica. Who is Vince Clark? Correct. Let's get personal for 400. This member formerly played in a duo called Norman and the Worms. Monica. Who is Martin Gore? Correct. Next line, 300, please. Because I've got a love, a love that won't wait. David. What is a love that is growing and it's getting late? That is correct. Let's go location, location, location 400. The Marigny Op Opera House in this city was the filming location for parts of the Heaven video. Oh, and no one wants to take that one. The answer was, what is New Orleans? Yeah. Everyone's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Is it back to me? Yes, it is. Uh, let's go location, location, location 500. The Motor View drive-in in this US state was the setting for the World in My Eyes video and the introduction to Strange 2. David. What is Utah? That is correct. Okay, uh, next line, 400. Just for a day on a day like today. David? Uh, what is, I'll get away with it? Uh, no. No, that's all right. Uh, Jay. What is, let me see you stripped? Down uh, no, sorry. No, uh, Monica. What is, just for a day on a day like today, I'll get away from this constant debauchery. That is correct. Nice. Okay, last one. You could just choose that one, Rob. Oh, 500, next slide. <laughs> You've been on for too long. Daniel. What is, you've been. <laughs> Monica, you can answer. Oh, okay. Uh, shoot. Sorry. You've been lied. What is you've been lied to? Your nope. rights abused. Nope, it was Rob. Show, please show the answer. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that is the end of round one. Um, so let's get to our contestants a little bit better. Um, first, I just want to remind contestants, you have to buzz in at the appropriate time. For some reason, the buzzer is not working properly right now. So if I see you buzzed in before the appropriate time, I will go to the next person on the list. So just a reminder there. Just in case, yes, David, you're super fast. I know it, but I see you buzzing in. No, I, I, was, I, was, I was just wondering, yeah, what's going on? It's fine. <laughs> okay. No. I, actually, I actually don't even get to see the artwork uh, until the, <laughs> Dave's already answered. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We may have to work on that. <laughs> <for the questions. laughs> um, so, Jay, tell us a little bit about performing as Fletch. Do you actually do anything, or do you just, you know, bum around? <laughs> you know, that's a very good question. Um, my ego wouldn't let me just go on stage and do nothing. So I went and learned a lot of the synth bass parts that he may or may not play. I want to learn them anyways. And so I went online and I found some, like uh, Von George is a great uh, resource for that, where he had a whole video dedicated to Fletch. And I was able to see what parts he does play and I learned them. I've always been singing the songs, um, you know, since I was a kid. You know, I had the tapes and I'd drive around. So I, I could always sing the harmonies. But I wanted to learn the parts on the synth bass and a keyboard, so I got I got a synth uh, keyboard and learned those parts and and I got some clothes to match and you know like the hat he wears and just can't get enough and it's really been a blast. It's been it's just a dream. A lot of fun the last year and a half. Great, and you have an upcoming show. 
We do. We have an upcoming show. Uh, well, the band is going to be playing in Mexico City without me. He's got a, a the leader, Freddie Morales, has got a team down there in Mexico City that will join him. But my next appearance will be on the 24th of, of October at a golf course here locally. And uh, we're going to be doing that on the 24th, I think, 4.30, with a New Order du uh, du tribute band opening up called Technique. And then we're playing again the day after Christmas uh, during the holidays at Club 80s in Corona. So those are the two gigs I'll be performing with. Um, hopefully we get more between now and then. So. Great. And where can people find information for that? You can go to the uh, Facebook group uh, called Devotional, the Depeche Mode Experience. You can find them on Facebook. And I believe they've got a website as well, uh, Devotional, the Depeche Mode Experience. Now, you're also an actor. Can you tell us about that time you were a porn star? I mean, you played a porn star? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I've never done porn, but I played a porn star on TV. Uh, back in 1995 on a Fox movie of the week, um, I thought I was going to be playing a crew member uh, for, of, of a shoot, and then I get there, and they hand me the wardrobe, and they say, this is your wardrobe. It's a robe. <laughs> and that was it. So I, uh, I did it. It was fun. Um, Peter Fascinelli was the star. He played a runaway teen who became a street hustler. And the scene we did was I'm lying on the bed as he comes in. And fortunately, you know, I'm so far in the background on the bed that you can't really tell it was me. Of course, my mother could, and she recorded it on VCR and played it for the whole family when I came home to Christmas to visit everybody. So it was pretty, pretty Peter awesome. Uh, but no, I, I'm not a porn star, but I have played one on TV. Yes. Okay, great. Angelina, you have two daughters. You're married, you have two daughters and a dog. Have you converted all of them to Depeshism? You know, my children actually are very anti Depeche mode because it takes mommy away. Um, so if they even see me texting Depeche to one of my friends, they'll call her at me. They're just. Um, I'm hoping once they hit puberty, the angst will kick in and the song lyrics will start to seep into their souls, you know? So fingers crossed, a couple more years. Thank you. Um, Monica, you are an environmental justice program specialist. Can you explain what that is? Oh, that's just uh, those long titles. Uh, I work with uh, uh, low income and ethnic minority communities to help empower and educate and uh, make positive change in people's um, environments. So if they've got water quality issues or unhealthy homes, like with lead, asbestos, asthma, uh, mercury, radon, uh, I don't do the cleaning, but I help do a lot of uh, education about it and give out grants for nonprofits. So I manage those grants with nonprofits and uh, just help to get people to live in healthier, cleaner communities and more just and equitable too. Well, thank you for doing that. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. David's joining us from the furthest away, I believe. Um, you've lived in Japan for 20 years. Um, how yes. big are the boys over there in Japan? Do they know who they are? Um, they used to when they toured here, but they haven't toured since Violator. So um, people have mostly forgotten about them. Only one of people who know them are people my age and like in their 40s who used to see them. And do you miss being back at where you're from? Where are you from originally? Uh, East Coast, so Massachusetts. Okay, do you miss it at all or is, is Japan now officially your home? It's officially my home. Um, I miss some things like uh, good microbrew beer and uh, good pizza, but that's about it. <laughs> Daniel, hello, Mr. Spirits in the Forest. Um, are you buzzing in on the iPad the band gave you? Actually, no, I'm, I'm using an iPhone, but I'm using the, my computer, which is lying on top of that iPad because that was my number two. Sorry for the earthquake. And yes, here is the iPad that I won from the band. Um, I know it looks like a regular iPad when you look at it like this. Sorry for the um, But of course, I protected it with like a very sturdy keyboard case, which when you move, ow, this is not supposed to get long. <laughs> when you remove, you get to see the Global Spirit Tour logo laser engraved on it. It was given to just uh, um, to the six of us. It was given to a few more people as uh, thank you for the tour from their crew and everything. And 
it was a real problem for Dickon because he had two kids and the two kids wanted to play with it. <laughs> I guess it will tell you about it. Well, thank you, everybody. I think we're ready for round two. Rob, can you bring up the board? Okay, so this time around, we have Gone Crazy, Collaborators, First Tracks. This is where you'll see a song title and you have to name what album it is the first track of. Opening Acts and Cover Me. And David, you're in the lead right now, so you get to start us off. Just one thing, um, my buzzer says I'm locked. Is anyone else no. locked? I'm locked. Okay, th thank you. Oh, perfect, thank you. Okay, okay cheers. Um, let's go with first tracks. For how much? Oh, sorry, <laughs> for first tracks, uh, 800. Sounds of the universe. David. Uh, what is in chains? Uh, no, it's not. Oh wait, uh, sorry. Yes, it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Am I crazy? Okay. Uh, uh, let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's go back. First tracks, 1200. Playing the angel. David. <laughs> what is a pain that I'm used to? Yes, it is. Okay, uh, let's go, uh, can I, let's go Collaborators, 800. This longtime manager of the band began as an accountant on the Black Celebration Tour. Monica. Uh, who is Baron Jum? Nope, sorry, no, uh, no. Kessler. Yes, yes, that's correct. Um, Rob, could you show the answer? Yes. Oh, so did you call on Daniel? I didn't hear that. That's why. Yeah, oh, sorry. Da yes, Daniel did. I heard him say Jonathan Kessler. Okay. <clears throat> Unless that was just in my head, but I'm pretty sure everyone else heard it. Um, I, okay. Daniel, you get to choose. Um, let's. I'm grateful for you. I couldn't hear you. You cut out, Daniel. Let's start it. Did you hear that, Rob? No, I couldn't catch it. Rob, Daniel, could you say that okay. again? Let's go crazy. Gone crazy for 400. Gone crazy for 400. The name of Dave's first solo album. Daniel. I speak for monsters. Correct. Um, so, collaborators for 400. For years, the band worked under a verbal contract with, the, with this Mute Records founder. Monica. Who is Daniel Miller? Correct. Let's go with first tracks for 400. Construction time again. David. What is love in itself? Correct. Let's go first track 1600. Some great reward. David. What is something to do? Correct. Okay, let's finish it off. First tracks 2000. Ultra. David. What is barrel of a gun? Correct. Okay, let's go gone crazy 800. Rumors have it that Dave has had four brushes with death, earning him this nickname. David. What is the cat? Correct. So gone crazy 1200. Dave took the last name Gone from his adopted stepfather. His birth surname was this. David. What is Colcott? Correct. 
Let's go to, 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 to cover me 800. This renowned guitarist covered I Feel You in 2015. Jay. Who is Johnny Marr? Correct. Reminder to people, if they buzz in too early, I'm not going to call on you. Go ahead, Jay, you can choose. Ooh. It's funny, I'm buzzing, but I'm getting beat to the buzzer by these guys. I'm <laughs> um, let's go with Cover Me for 400, please. Although Personal Jesus has been covered by everyone from Marilyn Manson to Shirley Manson of Garbage, it's this country leg legend's version that has received the most accolades. Monica. Who is Johnny Cash? Correct. I knew that one too, but she beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me for Johnny Moore. Uh, okay, let's go. Cover me, 1200. World in My Eyes was covered by this LA indie rock band who also opened for DM on several dates of the Global Spirit Tour. Angelina. Who is Warpaint? Correct. Um, can I have opening acts for 400? Vince reportedly said that Electricity by this band, who opened for most of the 1988 US tour dates, really made me want to make electronic music because it was so unique. Monica. Who is OMD, otherwise known as Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark? Yes, and I would love to give you bonus points for giving both names, but unfortunately that doesn't work that way. So, but you do get to go choose again. Uh, opening acts, 800. The lead singer of this band, which opened for the final two concerts of the Global Spirit Tour, passed away in March 2020. No one. Oh, well, Rob, show the answer, please. Hmm. What is EAF? Uh, you get to choose again. Opening acts for 1200, please. This Irish rap band who got booed in Spain for their song, Fuck Columbus, opened for several of the European dates of the devotional tour. Angelina. Who is House of Pain? No. Nope. Nope, if you guys had read my book, you would know that the answer is... <laughs> Mark <Ben. laughs> Okay, choose again. Let's go uh, collaborators for 1200, please. Producer Mark Ellis is better known by this name. Monica. Who is Flood. Very good. Okay. Uh, gone crazy for 1600. Dave's second wife, TC, worked as the band's publicist and has some screen time in this film. Daniel. Daniel? Hello, Daniel? Oh, did he drop out? I think we lost Daniel. Oh, no. Technical issues, I think. Um, maybe we should pause the game for a second and see where he is. Sure. We're going to not count this question. Um, sorry, guys, for the technical difficulties. Let's see what's happening. He said he's back and waiting to come in. Ah, okay. That's one of the issues with, I left the waiting room open, but I had no idea he was, he was trying to get back in, so. Uh, I should have just opened it, but uh, I kept it closed just so we didn't get any Zoom bombers. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Is he back on? Daniel, are you there? Huh. I had admitted him, but it, it, it doesn't look like he's there. He says he's, it's disconnected, too, on the buzzer, so... Um, oh, his internet died? I wonder if his internet died. This was one of the few eventualities that we did not plan for, Rob. Right. <laughs> we have like a whole workflow of 
all these different scenarios, and this was not one of them. Right, right. Is he is he able to text you on the phone? You you find out if the internet is dead. I'm him right now. I'm going to take it back to the regular mode where you can see everybody so you guys can <laughs> chat for the moment while we uh, everybody. Okay. Monica, you're a very fast buzzer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm learning from David. Oh, man. <laughs> he the might time, be the the play, but he's fast. The timing stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's that's hard. I had points for a minute. I was excited. <laughs> 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 um. Okay, he said he's coming back, Rob. Yeah. Okay. Um. While we're waiting, what did everybody eat or drink before? Are you the kind that eats a lot of like energy bars or you just like take a nap or drink some uh, Diet Coke or what? Or coffee? I just woke up, so coffee. <laughs> Okay, Daniel's coming back in. He said the entire internet went down. Oh, no. Oh, no. So. So, yeah, Monica, when we first got on, uh, David, it was 4.30 in the morning for him. Oh, like, right. For, uh, what a champ. No wonder. <laughs> you must be a morning person. That, that's why he only has 11,000 points right now. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how many points I have. Actually, you have 10,500, I, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You'll update us before Final Jeopardy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So as soon as, as soon as, apologies to everyone watching on Facebook Live uh, for the technical issues. You can't, you cannot, we cannot obviously control the internet in Berlin, but um, that's that's the issue at the moment. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are watching afterwards, after Final Jeopardy and the game is over, we're going to open this up for everyone to join us on Zoom and. I will share the Zoom meeting information at that time. So you can come mingle and any of the contestants that are going to stick around and want to chat with you guys, you can say hello to them and... and what was that? Uh, I was going to share with Rob something fun to share with everybody until uh, Daniel comes back. The little... Uh, here, Rob, I'm going to send this to you or everybody else who wants to break. That was a wake-up call. This is a fun um, promotion that I found that Depeche uh, Mode had done, and it's in German, which cracks me up. Okay, so let's share this with the, everybody one second. Uh, oh, let's see. Daniel says he's connected. Oh yeah, he is. Let's let's forget that other thing. Right. We'll save All that right. for another for the next technical difficulty. So we're gonna let's, cancel let's that. No more on that. Oh. We're back now. Uh, okay. Yay. I'm back. So, yes, I'm back. Did Daniel buzz in first for that question, or we're we just completely yeah. eliminating that question? Well. <laughs> He did buzz in, so we can allow him to answer now, I guess. Or if you guys are, Rob, it's up to you. You're the judge. So, Daniel, were you were you buzzing in for this question about Dave's second wife? Uh, to be honest, no. Okay, all right. I was, okay, we'll just... Was, we'll we'll just show you the, this one then, right? Is that what we want to do? Answer, and we'll just skip this question. Okay. So... Okay, um, I'm very sorry. I forgot who had the board. I think it was Monica. Okay, okay uh, let's go Gone Crazy for 2000. The cover for this album with frequent collaborators Soul Savers is rumored to have been shot by Dave's daughter, Stella Rose. David. What is Angel and, Angels and Ghosts? Correct. Okie dokie, let's go, uh, hmm, cover me, 1600. This singer 
singer-songwriter and pianist whose covers of DM include Enjoy the Silence has a bodyguard nicknamed Agent Orange who, was once, who once worked for the band. Monica. Who is Tori Amos? Correct. Nice. Let's I'm locked see. out. Well, my buzzer's locked, hold on. Yeah, it is because I, I changed the settings during our uh, interruption and I figured out how to make it so you can't buzz in early, David. Uh, okay, <laughs> just, just checking. <laughs> do you wanna do a test real quick to make sure? No, no, I, I trust you. Well, I don't trust me, but okay, go ahead. Let's go with opening acts for 1600. DM were discovered when they opened for Francis John Tovey, better known by this stage name. Two years later, he was opening for them. Daniel. Who is that gadget? Correct. Daniel, you choose. Um, cover me for 2000. These German pioneers of the of electronica covered Precious in 2010. Daniel. Um, who is Kraftwerk? Nine. That's no in German, sorry. Uh, uh, so the next person would be, no one else buzzed in, so Rob, show the answer. Ah. You're a dream dream. They did? Wow, I missed that. Yeah. You missed that? Wow, okay. Uh, Daniel, you still get to choose, even though you were wrong. Okay, so collaborators for 1600. This photographer's work has appeared on the album covers for Speak and Spell, A Broken Frame, and Echo and the Bunnymen's Ocean Rain. David. Who is Brian Griffin? Correct. Uh, let's go collaborators 2000. The current touring drummer for the band. David. Who is Christian Eigner? Correct. Okay, opening acts 2000. Singer songwriter Natasha Khan, who opened for several US and Canada dates on the Delta Machine Tour, is better known professionally by this name. He also covered Strange Love for a Gucci commercial. Monica. Who is Bat for Lashes? Correct. I love her too. She's my, I love her. <laughs> that brings us to the end of round two. And we have David in the lead by quite a lot of uh, 16,100. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Um, everyone take a deep breath, relax. You all mostly did great. Um, and let's take a look at the prizes for today's show. No, doggy. <laughs> Play Monica's dog. <laughs> the winner of this episode of Depeche Mode Jeopardy will receive a copy of the book Faithful and Devoted Confessions of a Music Addict by Jenna Rose Robbins, a photographic print from Spirits in the Forest star Christian Furaru as seen in the movie, and a set of egg shakers, official merchandise from DMK. And the final winner of the championship will receive an exclusive Depeche Mode photographic print signed by Brian Griffin. Back to you, Jenna. Okay, it's time for Final Jeopardy. We're gonna show the category and give you a few moments to place your bets. Remember everyone, only send me your bets, otherwise you're totally ruining your strategy. So then we're gonna go into it. We're gonna, you're gonna be able to write it down, get your pen and paper ready. We're going old school on this, really analog, real pen and real paper. Rob, can you bring up the screen? Oh, we have one second. We, can we know what other people have for scores? Oh, Rob, um, yeah, can you send those? Can you tell us what everybody has? Okay, so after two rounds, Angelina zero, Daniel 1900, David 16,100, uh, J400, and Monica, 6,300. Dennis, since I'm zero, can I even play this round? Technically, no. But if you'd like to come in and play and just play and just bet zero. Fun. Okay. Okay. 
Or we can give you a sympathy 100 points if you like. No, it's OK. <laughs> okay. For 101. <laughs> exactly. Yes, thank you. All good, guys. It's just for fun. Yes. OK, so I'm going to show you guys. Remember, the, all you contestants, remember, I'm going to show you the category. And I'm going to give you a few seconds to text it to me in the chat, just to me. Rob, please show the category. Tours. OK, everybody, please show me your Okay, yep. can you can you can you get off the can you stop sharing the screen? I was going to send you a message, but I lost the function. Hold on. Okay, thank you. I can't see the chat. Monica, uh, Rob, can you please remind Monica how much she has? Uh, Monica, you have sixty three hundred. Thank you. Daniel, you have nineteen hundred. David, sixteen thousand one hundred. Jay, you have 400. Bet it all, buddy. <laughs> to everyone? Sorry. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> oh. Daniel th thanks, for, thanks for the info. Okay. Now it's not going to be that, OK? Now okay, it's yeah. Now no, no, I'll change it. That was a trick. That's <laughs> Rob. Please, let's go back to the board for a second. Oh, you changed it. Okay, someone changed their bet. Okay, I'm, that's that's it. They're all locked in. No more changes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Tours. British magazine Q referred to this as the most debauched rock tour ever. Good luck. start out with uh, Angelina, who seems to have disappeared. Fucker. Angie! <laughs> Come, Are you back. Here, Angelina? Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll skip her then, I guess. Well, Come back. well she is anyway, so we'll, we'll go to Jay. Jay, um, Rob, remind us how much Jay had? 400. Jay and Jay here bet nothing. Jay, can you please hold up your? <laughs> I can't see, see it. it. Okay. Emotional. Okay, I, I can see. I can see it. That is correct. So and that's a cool Jay band to the Depeche Mode as well. What's that? That's a cool tribute band as well. Devotional. Yeah. Devotional. Oh, that's so. true. So Jay stays at four hundred points. Uh, then we had Daniel Casus. Daniel has bet, he changed his bet a few times. Let me go back and see what the most recent <laughs> one was. 1,499. Daniel, change, can you hold Daniel. up your answer? Hold up your answer, Daniel, please. And it's blank. <laughs> we can't see, we can't see it. Oh, we can't you can't see, okay, of course. Ah! I changed my answer, but Believe me, it was before the ah. Uh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rob, were you able to see that? I can't see it. It's well, because the background. Uh, the background. Uh, Music for the masses. No, it says devotional. On, it says devotional under it. Devotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. That's good. He's got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so uh, that brings us to what does that bring us to, um, Rob? So he bet fourteen ninety nine. Was it? Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, let me add that real quick. That's twenty thirty three ninety nine, I guess. Okay. So, then we'll go to Monica. Monica bet six thousand two hundred ninety nine. Monica, what was your answer? Devotional tour. Woohoo! What does that bring her up to, Rob? Uh, that brings her to 12,599. And then David, who I believe was an uncatchable in this, he got devotional as well, and he bet 
Only a thousand. So okay. well, why yeah. risk it? <laughs> <laughs> so his final score was Rob? Seventeen thousand one hundred. And I believe that makes David our winner. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Everybody. David. Woo Congratulations, my brother. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> and a job well done by everyone. And thank you for participating. Yeah. We, we know this is our first time and you know, there's a little bit of technical difficulties, but overall I think it went pretty smoothly. It was a lot of fun too. And I'm I hope going you guys to open this fun. up for, for people from uh, from the face. Oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So David will join us in three weeks at the championships. We're gonna have two more weeks of Jeopardy games like this, and then those other two winners will come join us at the end and compete against David. And that wraps up today's game. Um, tune in next week for game two with special guest Dickon Schrader of Spirits in the Forest and tribute band DMK. And everyone, um, also thank you very much to Rob and to Dickon as well for the game's kick-ass video spots and the theme song remix and to DMK for the Webitos prizes and to Mike LaJoy for designing our fantabulous logo. So I'd like to let, ask everybody who's watching to come join us. We're gonna, Rob's gonna share a link in the live stream so you can come join us in the drink and chat on Zoom.